All right, well, I got it a little bit more cleaned out. Uh, so you can kind of see a little bit more of the stuff. Uh, you can see there's the heater where it comes in. And of course, the uh, grill, which I've already showed you. Um, on this side, I actually built an oven. Uh, and this, this goes uh, right over the top of a camp chef. Just lift that up, let this drop down, and uh, it is lined on the inside with aluminum. Um, so it holds the heat in pretty good. Just some racks that uh, I cut. This, this will actually hold uh, four full-size pizzas or about um, six um, medium-sized pans of uh, lasagna. And uh, this is stainless steel up front, and this also is a stainless steel um, diffuser plate. You put this on the camp chef so that the flame isn't going directly up into your food. And on low, on one single camp chef, it's uh, heating at about, uh, about 320, 350 degrees, something like that, depending on how uh, hot the or cold the day is. And... This little guy here, quite big guy, is a file cabinet that I found at Goodwill for $5. And I have a little deal there to hold it in place while we travel, otherwise these doors would fly open. But one door can come open at a time, so it's not going to topple over. But I just took the file cap files out of it, and now it has all the pots and pans. Um, and some other items that I need for cooking and some for cleaning and I also have some paint in there for uh, touch-ups to the trailer okay I'm not gonna go through that whole thing because that would take a whole nother video I think there's my pizza pans uh, got a popcorn maker uh, lots of plastic and paper because uh, when we go camping and I got scouts involved. Um, half the time they don't clean their their gear. And uh, especially when they're in competition, I don't want to have to um, have them be cleaning, cleaning their uh, items while they're uh, trying to compete. So it just slips in there like that and holds it uh, while we travel. I have a rack. This is where I put all of the Camp Chef legs. They all go in a rack because um, well, uh, they just seem to travel better, and it's not so much weight in the bag. And you can see I've got uh, one camp chef, two camp chefs, three camp chefs. So I've got three of them that actually go to this trailer. Um, up here in the cabinet, um, of course, there's uh, all kinds of uh, things in here. Mostly it's, it's uh, um, bowls, plates and uh, a little bit of propane, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a sifter and whatnot. But this first drawer um, has all the spices and um, some pot holders and even a couple of patches and stuff, places where, um, and things where I've been. Um, here's, a, here's actually a little stove. But a lot of the spices and stuff go in here. Of course, all of the little utensils, um, pizza cutters, spatulas, can openers, whisks, all of that is in this drawer. And in the other side, um, here is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer, junk drawer, whatever. I have uh, hot hot pads. Pop these and uh, turns the liquid to a, a, a more of a solid, which creates a lot of heat. Um, there's some more skin so soft, some toothbrushes, uh, just some tape, poncho, Kleenex, you know, just stuff that uh, you might need. Um, like I said, it's kind of like my junk drawer. Now, this is actually glow in the dark. Um, yeah, and even an air horn. And this has all of the silverware, very heavy drawer. Two sets 
of silverware. Uh, most of this stuff was uh, Goodwill or um, visiting nurses that uh, basically got for next to nothing. Um, but it also has some measuring cups, and uh, these are these are for cooking round eggs, um, and a couple of uh, plastic spoons and whatnot in here. And of course, we have the bread knives, and um, I like even in the back here. Yeah, there's even some more knives. So it's pretty well, pretty well set up. You can see how deep it goes. It's Shoot, it's about uh, two and a half feet deep. It goes back there quite a ways. I've got some old time uh, coffee makers too. I have uh, two cast iron griddles and two of the uh, heavier duty um, steel griddles. And of course a camp chair is back in here, an electric pump for my air mattress. And then there's some, some uh, hiking poles they're back in there as well. And of course, there's the switch for the uh, water pump if you're ever pulling it out of a creek. And along this wall, uh, this tube is a fishing pole tube. Um, I also have a, oh, well, here's this closed rack or a closed drying rack. This goes all the way across to this side. So I can dry clothes while I'm uh, on a 50 miler if I've uh, washed it. A couple of flags that I use for parades, and these are just hooks to hang hang certain items. There's another uh, fishing pole, uh, but it has all kinds of cool things in it. Um, and this is the rack that holds um, the brooms, and this is a, um, a little pedometer that I use for uh, Klondike. And goes right to the uh, big bigger first aid kit um, fire extinguisher and of course the uh, solar panel or solar uh, control panel and then on this side is the bed or the table right now and it also converts into a bed Above that, I have a hat rack with uh, even more items and a whiteboard. All right, what we have under the table here in these several bins. Of course, on this one bin, I have a whole bunch of of tarps. I've kind of put those outside for now so that we can get into these bins. This first bin here has all of my American flags in it and it's even got uh, oh some other flags as well like the um, POW flag um, but has all of the accoutrements that you would need to hang it up plus a, a uh, um, trumpet well not a trumpet that'd be a bugle And then further down, well, I just have a whole bunch of dry goods. Um, this is just uh, sweeteners and, and things like that. Um, a lot of high calorie kind of stuff in here. Um, that's really good if you're gonna be trying to survive. Of course, here's a whole bunch of um, granola bars and nuts and things like that, which is also great for energy and keeps for a long time and I have more of the kind of wet goods here which is your oils I do have some nuts and some beef jerky and some soups and chili and and uh, syrup and that kind of thing so generally everything that I need uh, to to cook and to eat and this is the cleaning bin uh, this thing has it's not very clean top, <laughs> but it has all of the blue paper towels, in which I recommend that over just regular paper towels. Dishwashing detergent, drying racks, uh, Lysol, Brillo pads. I mean, this this whole box is is full of of uh, cleaning supplies, um, racks, garbage sacks, bins, tubs, totes. Um, all that you can think of that you would need to uh, clean with. Yeah, 
Yeah, my next bin. Uh, this has a whole bunch of, of different um, smaller ropes, duct tape, and things that I would use uh, to help teach a pioneering class um, or knot tying, that kind of thing. Uh, but it also has a few candles and, of course, some Altoids. I, I use these uh, many times I'm doing a magnifying glass uh, class on starting fires because where the magnifying glass is, is looking, you tend to get blind right, right where that point is because it's shining off so brightly. But uh, that's about all that's in this bin. All right, and then below that smaller bin is this big, big bin, and this is just full of ropes and more ropes and more rope. Now, this is everything from 550 to 3 8 I've even got some homemade. This uh, rope here is actually rope that I made on the rope machine. Uh, it's uh, half inch or half inch grade. Um, I uh, didn't like it because it looked too much like store-bought, so I quit making it. But this is made out of uh, sisal, uh, or uh, not sisal, but this is a baling twine, the um, uh, man-made baling twine. Um, but uh, this, this box is literally completely full of nothing but rope, so I won't run out. And then I've got four more bins. Everything that I need to set up the uh, mobile kitchen trailer, the awning set, propane lines, um, the, everything to set up the uh, A-frame awning. And then the last one is basically everything else that I can't figure out where to put it. So there'll be matches and maybe there's a couple of uh, flashlights and you can see right there is a wrench. Um, and it's basically my miscellaneous junk drawer. Okay, and then I have a huge stack of 18-inch um, stakes in case it gets uh, super windy. I can uh, stake everything down really well. All right, in order to turn this, this table into a bed, um, kind of just move these out of the way, temporary. And then swing out the cantilevered, cantilevered supports. This whole thing lifts up. Uh, this is my top rail that I just welded a little piece into the end and in the end there. So basically made a big, huge piano hinge out of it. And folds out into a bed. Now this will fit a, uh, a twin size uh, air mattress um, so there's plenty of room um, and I've slept plenty of nights on this bed believe you me. And one of the very last things to show is the uh, air raid siren. Um, we have at the Klondike event, we have uh, a shotgun start, and we used to just honk horns and that kind of thing, but I was like, you know what, that's not very cool. Let's do something that's a little bit more cool. So I got some of these 12-volt uh, 12-volt 12 12 air raid sirens. There's three of them up there. And they make one heck of a racket, and that's how we start our Klondike. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the the uh, three-part series on the Scout trailer, the Rocket trailer. I hope that uh, gives you some good inspiration and some ideas of what you want to do uh, if you uh, decide to do a trailer to go off the grid. Um, please make sure to subscribe and uh, share the video uh, with other people. Uh, sharing ideas, it's always a cool thing. Thanks for watching.